Depending on where you live, you've most likely seen a beautiful sunrise or sunset on a cloudy day and noticed those awe-inspiring heavenly beams of light shining through the holes in the clouds onto the earth. You've also likely noticed that these beams tend to sort of fan out like rays. But why exactly does this happen? After all, the sun is far larger than the earth and incredibly far away. So by the time this emission of light reaches us, it's effectively just a wall of light. So why does it appear that the source of this light is inside clouds radiating outwards? Why do sunbeams fan out when they should be parallel to each other? Well, the short answer is they don't. Sunbeams are parallel to each other. The real question is why do they appear to fan out when they actually don't? And the answer to that has to do with the observer's perspective. The problem here is that people tend to assume that sun rays are coming from straight out of the sky directly onto the ground perpendicular with the surface of the earth, when in reality, they're facing towards you at an angle. The point of origin for these beams, i.e. the holes in the clouds, is much farther away from you than where these beams of light are landing. If the beams were to come straight out of the sky and land perpendicular to the earth, then they would look like this, parallel from your point of observation and really any other point as well. But in photos like this one, they aren't doing that. What they're doing is coming towards you, which causes a shift in perspective. Notice in my diagram here, when we look from the side, these lines are still parallel to each other, but they are facing towards the observer. When we take his perspective again, we notice that they appear to fan out. The same thing happens when you look at the end of a long road. The sides of the road are parallel to each other the entire way, and that's apparent from a bird's eye view. But when we stand in the road and look to the end of it, the edges appear to converge. Things that are far away look smaller, while things that are close look larger. Another way to tell that this is happening is that each individual sunbeam appears to get larger as it approaches the ground. Each sunbeam is essentially a perfect rectangle in the physical world, but the area where it hits the Earth appears wider than its point of origin. It's the same as the road converging. The origin is just much farther away than its destination. So, in short, the reason sunbeams appear to fan out is because they have to. It's our brain's way of letting us know that something is facing towards us.